Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I really don't have a lot of time today, so I'm going to be sharing a very quick but extremely powerful Dolly 2 related tip. I know uh, I did mention in my Discord server, which by the way you guys can join with the link in the description, yesterday I did mention that I wanted to make a video today about the stable diffusion backlash or controversy, I guess you could call it, I don't really know exactly what to call it, but basically there is a little disturbance in the AI community about stable diffusion's ability to generate, you know, pretty much anything, which includes some really horrible stuff. Of course, they won't allow you to generate that on their own servers, but when it's open source and you can download it, you'll be able to generate whatever you want on your own GPU at home, and, you know, that has a lot of people concerned. So I wanted to discuss that. I had a lot to talk about, but unfortunately, I do not have the time today uh, to make that video. So unfortunately, we're going to be covering something a little bit smaller, but that video will be coming in the future, hopefully tomorrow. So, user Retro Rocket UK in my Discord server mentioned that he got Dolly access a couple of days ago, and he actually learned a neat little trick on how to get more bang for your buck with Dolly 2. And I actually have to admit I have seen this trick used a few times in the past. So, in this video, we're actually going to be taking what he learned and then applying it into a separate program, and we could potentially triple or quadruple our DALL-E results here. So obviously you're still gonna have to spend credits, this isn't free DALL-E credits, but you're gonna get a lot more for the credits you have. So basically we're getting more variations still in high resolution. And I'm not sure about the success rate with this, but let's just give it a quick shot. So essentially what you have to do is before or at the end of your prompt, probably before your prompt begins, you wanna say a three by three array of and then your following prompt. And you can of course change this number, but you know, if I did a five by five, for example, I'm gonna get a lower resolution for each generated image. So that won't really give you as much detail, although we still will be using an upscaler to enlarge all of these results and effectively get more results with Dolly 2 using this prompt hack and a third party image upscaler, which will be very good. Testing this out, a three by three array, of lemon photos, just something really simple, a very simple prompt. We'll hit generate and see what we get. Now, some of you might be a little confused. Why would you need to do this in the first place? Well, it turns out that Dolly 2 credits are very expensive. It's about 13 cents a prompt, which sounds cheap at first, but when you're really trying to get a lot out of Dolly 2 and really creatively exploring and experimenting with it, you can burn through a lot of credits really quickly. So this is actually a very effective way to explore Dolly 2 while saving a lot of credits and as you can see I even got a message here saying you have 10 credits left. They want me to buy more. Well, I can effectively really save quite a lot here by using this method. And of course, all of these lemon photos are a lot smaller resolution, but it did actually work very well. We did get a three by three array. Some of them are kind of cut off, but we got a lot more images here in general than if we just said lemon photos. We would have only got four photos of lemons, and now I've got 36 lemons here. And while some of them aren't really that great, we've got quite a lot of good lemons too. So for example, if we like one of these lemon photos, like we have all of these to pick from, but we'll find you know, one, th one that we particularly like. I'll go over here and just download the photo as you normally would. And once we download the photo, we can of course open it with whatever editor we use. I mean, if you're on a Mac, for example, I'm sure there's some built-in photo editor in there. On Windows, of course, there's the Windows photo editor that's very simple and easy to use. And if you're on a phone, I'm sure your phone has a cropping feature. So what we want to do is just go into whatever photo editor comes with our device, and we just want to crop into whatever specific photo that we particularly like. So I'm going to pick this one right here. And as you can see, it's a pretty blurry image, but that's okay for now because we are going to take this blurry image and we're going to make it beautiful again. We'll go ahead and click the save button right here to just save it like that. And of course, you're going to have to download this image multiple times if you want to use multiple of these and it can be a little bit time consuming but we are saving quite a bit here i mean we got basically uh nine images for one for this and by the way guys the fastest way to do this would be to download all of your images at once and then crop them all at once and then upscale them all at once so today this is the image ai upscaler that we will be using i particularly like using this one over on replicate.com so if you do actually pay for replicate.com it's very cheap 
you can use it on there, but you can actually also completely use it for free, although it takes a little bit longer here on Google Collab, which I will link down below. It's pretty easy to use on Google Collab, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the process here. So the first thing that we wanna do here in Google Collab is click this little button here, and it's gonna give us a warning. We're gonna click the Run Anyway button. And it's going to go ahead and set up our environment here. And, you know, this is going to take a little bit of time. So that's why I said you want to save all your images first and then upscale them after because this first setup takes a little bit. And basically, you're just going to wait for all of this text here to stop moving. And you will get a notification at the bottom here that tells you when it is done setting all of this up. So as you guys can see now, this little spinny is stopped and we've got a green check mark up here. It only took a minute or so. Uh, to set all this up. So this one completed successfully. Now we're going to move on to step two, which is upload images. So what we'll do is we will click this little run button right here on the second one. This is very quick. Now it's going to ask us uh, what files to upload. And of course, you can upload multiple files at once. So it says choose files up here. We're just going to click on this. So now it's going to bring up your file browser here. And of course, this is uh, the image that I cropped earlier. And again, you might have, you know, a ton of different images you want to upscale all at once. But I'm just going to be using one uh, for this example right here. So you could, of course, drag and select a bunch of them. But yeah, I've only got one. I'm going to click the open button now. And as you can see, it is going to upload and tell you when it is 100% done uploading whatever files you're uploading and it gives you the name of the file and everything. So now that that part has done, we're going to go ahead and move on to step three, which is interference. And this is, you know, beginning the AI upscaling process. We're going to, again, just click this little run button up here in the corner and wait for things to happen. We can sort of see this little output here. So as you guys can see, the little check mark up there has appeared. So now we can move on to step four, which is visualization. And again, we just click this little run button up here. And now we got a few different options actually that we can pick from for our AI generated lemons. So this, of course, was our input image. We have BSR GAN, real ESR GAN, SWIN IR, which of course is the other one, and then the large SWIN IR output. So yeah, they give you all of the options here. And now, of course, we can move on to five and just download all of them at once, which is really easy. We again, we click that run button and it just begins to download a zip file that is full of all of these images, of course, because you're getting multiple images. And this might take a little bit of time, like all this process and everything was very quick because I only did one image. But if you're doing, you know, five, 10, 15 images, it can take a little bit of time, uh, you know, to download everything. And there we go. Now I've got the file with my completed results. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty simple process and it's very nice, honestly, for being completely free, I think. So here we can explore the rest of our images and, you know, pick which one we like. I honestly like this last one that we're looking at here. It looks pretty real. You know, maybe it's not as stellar as Dolly 2's upscaling, but you got to remember, guys, that we got basically nine times uh, the images that we normally would have got out of Dolly 2. And, you know, we're still getting it upscaled in a pretty high resolution, I think. And, uh, you know, we get different options. So in the end, I think this was a good result and, uh, you know, pretty useful, especially for being completely free. So, yeah, you guys are going to end up with a, a lot more images this way. You don't get to try more prompts out, unfortunately. You know, whenever you want to try a new prompt, unfortunately, you got to spend an extra credit. But at least this might help you actually get something better more often out of the prompts that you do input into Dolly. And this is just basically increasing the amount of variations we get and upscaling them uh, with a free, very good, I think, in my opinion, AI upscaler. So I'm just going to give another one of these a uh, shot. We're going to do a little bit more of a complex prompt. Character art concept, intelligent crab wearing a top hat and a monocle. And we'll see, you know, that's a little bit more complex. We'll see if we get a good three by three array. Of course, you could always do two by two, end up with some higher resolutions. Or if you wanted a ton of photos, you could do a five by five or a four by four and you get lower resolution photos uh, that you will end up cropping. And, you know, this does take a little bit of time, but for a completely free solution uh, to the problem with how much Dolly 2 can cost. I know it especially gets a little bit difficult in some other countries where the pricing just doesn't really make sense there. You know, I think this uh, solution can be very effective. Okay, so it actually didn't even work at all here. I mean, we got some pretty interesting images nonetheless, but we didn't get our 3x3 three three array. 
Let's see if adding the of images at the end, so three by three array of images, and then our prompt gives us a better result. So yeah, it turns out that this isn't, you know, 100% foolproof all the time, but will indeed work in some situations. Okay, so in this case, it did actually work out a little bit better. We didn't get a three by three array necessarily, um, but we did actually get a two by two, it seems, in most of these, and then this one, we just got three different images. And it's interesting, actually, how similar some of these images are to each other. Um, but yeah, in general, we definitely got some more variations here, a little bit more to choose from than we normally would have. And of course, we can still upscale these. So I'm really liking these images, or I don't know, there's actually a lot of uh, pretty decent ones. I like this one down here as well. I'm going to go ahead and give this one on the bottom a shot. I really do quite like that one. So I'm going to go ahead, click the download button for this. Again, going to go in here and just quickly crop this image down. So we just see this one. And this is actually already still pretty high resolution, I have to say. But we'll go ahead here. And this time, I'll just quickly demonstrate what happens if you try to run this on replicate.com. It's a little bit quicker. But again, the Google Collab, which I showed you earlier, is completely free and is the same exact thing as this. Just go ahead and select the file here. We can pick the different model here. We're just going to do super resolution large. We'll click the submit button. And there we go. We can see it now has upscaled very quickly uh, our original image. And, you know, we could upscale any of those other variations that we got. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. I think it upscaled it uh, quite well. Of course, I could just click the download button here. And uh, yeah, it's actually a very, very high resolution, as you can see if we zoom in here. So yeah, I think the upscaler did a pretty good job upscaling this image in particular. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good solution. So I want to thank my uh, viewers for watching this video. And hopefully this helps some of you guys out uh, who are having trouble maybe affording some more Dolly 2 credits or just think the pricing is a little ridiculous because it is quite expensive for Dolly 2, in my opinion, at the moment. Although I understand that, of course, it does have to cost money at the end of the day. Anyways, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.